you clicked on this video because you want to know how to live stream on TikTok, but by using OBS. Now, this video is going to be for two people. The first person is going to be for people that have access to live streaming on TikTok by using a stream key. I'm going to show you guys how to set that up on OBS, how to set up the layout, the vertical layout and everything. Right after we're done with this intro, I'm going to go straight into showing you exactly the steps that I took. There's no real perfect way to do this. You kind of just have to get lucky, but I'm going to show you guys and tell you guys what I did and what worked for me and i hope it works for you guys so let's just get into the video and let's do it first for the people that do not have a stream key what i highly suggest doing for about maybe a month or so i was going live on tiktok before starting my streams on twitch i would stream on tiktok for like about an hour or so i will do it on mobile so i will get a little tripod put it right in front of my screen and even if i didn't have any viewers i would live stream still but i would pay attention to the live stream on TikTok, a lot of streamers are just live streaming on TikTok and Twitch at the same time, which you shouldn't be doing because it's against TOS. So it's against your affiliate contract. If you're affiliated on Twitch, you probably should not do that. But a lot of people are doing this. They have the, the phone live on TikTok right in front of them. They're not paying attention to chat at all, even though they say they do. I don't think they are. And they're live streaming on Twitch to see if maybe they can translate those people over. In my case, I'm not doing that. I'm actually trying to pay attention to the people coming in to my TikTok live stream. So what I highly suggest doing, try to go live at least twice or three times a week, maybe like an hour or so. Don't go a full eight hours because you're going to waste your time. Go for a little bit, feel it out, see how you like it try to grow an audience on the live streaming side on TikTok and see how that works. That's what happened to me. And then one day I kept doing that. I was being consistent. I was doing it before my live streams. And what do you know? I got this little message right here that said, Hey, like you could go live on mobile gaming, PC, whatever. And it gave me access to a stream key. So that's what I would highly suggest to anybody that's trying to get a stream key. Just try to stream your gameplay or whatever you're doing try to be consistent on it try to be active and try to pay attention to your chat because that's what they're looking for if you have a stream key i'm going to show you guys how to set that up on obs there's a button here that says go live now when you have this go live button it means that you have a stream key that's a good sign you're ready to go if you're used to streaming on twitch then you kind of see the similarities here you could put a title i wish for future i hope that they put more characters there's not a lot i would like to write a lot more you could put your own thumbnail which is cool i made my own little fun one genshin impact and i put all the waifus in there you already know live content you can change the game that you're playing there's not a long list they have apex at call of duty dota fortnite genshin impact they have a lot of games here but the list should be a little bit longer in my opinion just try to pick the game that you play hopefully it's here you're going to confirm it and then there's going to be a topic usually before even clicking the game the topics it's kind of like categories you have like chatting or technology or food or something like that you know you can pick the one that you want you could upload your cover image which is your basically thumbnail obviously you want to put live gifts and comments so you can you know maybe somebody wants to support you so you better click that definitely when you click this go live button a page is going to come up and it's going to show your stream key and your server url and these are the two things you're going to need when you're on obs that you're going to have to copy and paste it into your server settings for you to go live on tiktok every time i'm going to go live on tiktok i copy these two paste them in there i change it every single time i think it changes every single time so make sure to remember that because if you don't you're going to forget and you're going to be going live and there's going to be a blank screen just like this so make sure to change that now that we're in obs that server and stream key where you're going to copy it and where you're going to paste it what i highly suggest doing is creating a certain scene collection and a profile what this does is it saves your server settings so you're going to be going live on tiktok and twitch right the moment that you change this it's going to change my layout it's a huge game changer and you're going to save a lot of time doing this so make sure that if you're going to do this save your profiles and save your scene collection i'm going to change this to another scene I'm going to change it to TikTok right now. I already have this all set up, but I'm going to show you guys how to set it up file and then settings. We're going to go into stream. This is where you're going to go to put the stream key and the server key. You're going to want to just put custom where it says server on your TikTok live stream. When you went go live so you can find it, you are going to copy that and paste it into server. And then the stream key, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to copy, paste it into here, and then you're going to click apply. Now that you're done with that, you're going to go into output. I personally like to do video bit rate at 2,500. That's the highest you can do on TikTok. Kind of sucks. I wish you could do higher quality, but unfortunately you can't. So I use for streaming 2,500 kilobits per second. 
second. I go on hardware, audio bitrate at 160. I leave this on simple. I've seen some people do advanced, but I think simple is just easier for you to do this. So this is how I do it. I put the, my desktop audio at digital, my headphones monitored and device. Now this is a really important step that you're gonna want to really remember and actually do. You're gonna go into your video section. Now, usually it's 920 by 1080p. It's always like that usually for like, maybe if you're streaming on Twitch, right? But on TikTok, the format is a lot different. It's a vertical format. So what you're gonna wanna do is change the base canvas and the output resolution to 1080 by 1920. Basically the opposite. All you gotta do is flip it. The moment that you do this, you're gonna get this vertical layout that's in front of me. You're gonna wanna put Lancos. I mean, that's so you can have the best quality possible and 60 FPS. If you can't do 60, go for 30. It's not a big deal. This is my layout, how I have it. Now it's really simple to do. Let's just create a new scene. And now you have a couple choices and a couple things you can do with this. We're gonna add a video capture device. You're gonna do Sony a6000. This is the camera I have. I like to put the webcam at the top for you to have the snap on effect so you could have it like really even it's going to be in general settings you're going to want to go where it says source alignment snapping snap sources to edge of screen snap sources to other sources so that gives you this right you're going to want to just stretch it out and when you stretch it it snaps on there you're good to go. Now we're going to do the gameplay at the bottom. I'm going to add a video capture device. I already have one. It's my Elgato here. Just pretend that there's gameplay here. There isn't. For Genshin specifically, I like to show the full screen because a lot of people want to see all your characters that are there where we have enough space to see everything, all your characters, all your abilities and all that stuff. But for someone that's an FPS shooter type of game, like maybe Apex, you might want to zoom in a little bit and have like the middle part where it's only focusing on the gun and the player, maybe not so much on the other stuff you could do either or a lot of people have complimented me on the way my stream looks on tiktok and they seem to like it like this usually the bottom part is where the chat goes you don't have to put anything here if you want when someone goes on mobile on tiktok and they go through this they're gonna see that blank black part and they're gonna see chat there but personally what i like to do is i like to add a little like logo image right so i have my own little logo here i just like to put it there just to promo my brand let's just say it doesn't fit or something you could just hold shift and you could do it like that and you're good to go now chat's gonna go over but they're gonna see that you know your name or whatever and then all the social medias that you're on i wanted to actually address one thing when you go live in here it does not mean that you're going you're already live on tiktok yet you have to go live basically twice you go live on the site itself and once you're live there you can start streaming on obs here do not forget that because if you do you're gonna have no one coming into your stream and you're not gonna even have a live stream up so make sure to go live twice when you do this there you guys have it there goes a full tutorial on how to live stream on TikTok using OBS. I hope this video brought you some type of value. I really hope it spices up your channel. Make sure to not stream on TikTok and Twitch at the same time as against TOS. So do not do that. Do it an hour before. There's no TOS in that. We know a lot of stuff is happening with Twitch and it's not favoring a lot of streamers. So try to diversify. Try to live stream on YouTube. Try to live stream on TikTok. Try things out. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you guys suggest. I would like to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. So guys, don't forget to check out these two videos right here. The first one is basically the best color sitting for either your live streams or if you're gaming or something maybe get some more vibrant colors and the other one is for the best streaming settings on twitch which is 936p which is what i use currently so definitely check out those two videos that will help you out a lot in your streams and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out bye